Gabon's National Infrastructure Master Plan comprises of 21 major projects. That's with the total investment estimated at $11.8 billion. The strategy is aimed at providing Gabon with the necessary infrastructure that's for socio-economic development and diversification of the economy. Joining us uh, for more on this and, of course, uh, the time frame that's needed to implement this plan. Jim Dutton, General Director for the National Agency for Major Works, uh, joining us from Libreville. Jim, thanks for your time today. So, of course, uh, you're charged with overseeing this plan. Uh, this, of course, is uh, the budget, uh, just under $20 billion, is estimated for, uh, for kind of implementation between 2012 and 2016. So where are you on uh, the implementation of it so far? Just give us a, a very quick overview of where we are in that process. Well, you mentioned the budget uh, over 2012 to 2016. I think we tend to look at it as uh, over rather a longer period than that now. And of course, we're, but we're, we're really concerned about the first four years at the moment uh, and, and the current year in, in particular. Um, but we are uh, um, in the business, uh, in the process of implementing uh, the master plan uh, that was mandated by the president almost 12 months ago now uh, as, the, as the base for infrastructure development in this country. Um, and we're well on our way to that. Um, I, I should add that when, when we're talking about funding of this, um, of course, uh, I'm, I'm not personally as Director General of ANGT responsible for the funding but closely associated with those who are. Um, and that overall number includes um, private money as, as well as government money. So when it comes to uh, one of the specific plans within it, uh, housing is a major focus. You've got uh, the, the hopes to build 200,000 social housing units. Uh, that's by 2025. And this is a part of the program that has been specifically delayed. Uh, so what is the plan to, to kick start that? And of course, it is a of course quite a bone of contention given the fact that the Gabonese people feel that there is inadequate housing especially in, in the key areas like Libreville. Uh, absolutely uh, I, I mean the plan to kick start it is now well kick started um, there are houses uh, appearing daily uh, at uh, the Angonji housing site north of Libreville um, we've had two um, uh, Turkish companies who were contracted to produce um, houses uh, for us um, working there now uh, for over two months. The first shipments arrived actually just before and just after the new year. So uh, there's a lot of houses now appearing up at Angonji and I hope that gives confidence to people um, that the plan uh, is at least if, if not on the original track it is now firmly on its new track mm -hmm. um, and uh, those houses are appearing and more will appear over time. Give us an indication of staying in the, I suppose, the social space, what the, the plans are around health infrastructure in the economy or in the country. I'm sorry, you're quite difficult to hear. Could you say that again? What are the plans around health infrastructure and improving and uh, providing greater and better health services? Ah, yes. Okay. Well, I mean, as part of the one, one of the key elements of master plan, one, one of the key things that the president has, has set for us to do uh, is to build more and better housing, and of course, to provide those with ha houses with more and better um, utilities, in, in particular sewage systems, which actually don't exist in any integrated way uh, in in Libreville or, or Gabon as a whole uh, at the moment. Um, so th this is a long-term plan that will take years. This is the first element of it, um, a plan which has existed for some time in this development north uh, of Libreville. Um, and in order to kickstart this problem, uh, this, this, um, uh, this process, uh, you, using the words that you did, um, we, the, the government is using government money to build the first um, set of houses. Uh, that's in excess of 1,500 houses. Uh, that will be built with government money um, uh, by the, the, the firms that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, after that, there is a lot of discussion going on with the Ministry and with the, the SNI, the Société Nationale Amobiliaire, which is a national agency for, for housing, uh, as to how future houses will be funded and built. Mm -hmm. But the government will continue to provide the infrastructure and the foundations. Now the plan uh, extends to, of course, to transport, it extends to the energy 
energy sector as well, given the fact that uh, energy is critical to the development of an economy. Where are you in the process of the construction of those six uh, hydroelectric dams? Well, the, 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 you're absolutely right that, that energy is, is crucial. And, and part of the value that the ANGT brings to this process is that we are able to in integrate and synchronize the plans so that the housing plans, the energy plans, the transport road plans, the port plans and the airport plans uh, are all brought together. So uh, uh, each of these plans is at various different stages. This is a, a country with a huge resource for hydroelectric power, um, uh, but it, at the moment it is largely a potential resource because it's not being realized and it's not online. Um, but there are many plans to provide electricity in an integrated way, um, and that's what the, the ANGT does in integrating these plans of the various ministries.